YouTube. So you've installed Forge, you've installed mods, you've installed all the dependencies for the mods. Now you need to know how to configure those mods. So most mods you have to manually go into dot minecraft and there's another file called config so you saw me install something called storage drawers it should be in here somewhere But, anyways, let's just configure something else. This should contain some configuration files like let's say not that then maybe we'll go back and then show off in a later thing so Let's go into this attribute fix for an example. So, as you can see, if there's a hashtag before a line, it means that the line of code is not being read. So, it will read max out range and then this and then it will be the max equals line setting the max capacity for max help to 65,536.0 but if you take away this hashtag it will read value for the max help after you Cool stuff and have an error so don't take away that kind of stuff but if you want you can let's say set it to 69,420 nice So, even though I don't have this mod installed because I got rid of all my 1.15 mods for more memory, this is just an example tutorial. This will work on any mod that, that in here is actually a notepad. Like, if it's just blank, you can't enter it. But if there's a notepad thing, a toml file, you can enter that and see this. And for some mods, quite little, but some of them add this in. So let's start out Minecraft 1.12.2 Forge. So that I can show you something. Mods. And let's say. 
the extended reach mod. So, some mods like the extended reach you can disable. Which will completely turn off the mod. And also some mods. You can actually go into the configuration file while in Minecraft and save it while in Minecraft. So let's say I don't want 10, that's too much. But I still want a bit of uh, air. Then set it to 6. If that's still too little, back to 10. So that's all for today. Well, not for today, but well, for this video. Sub, like, 